What's going on guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be talking about Nomad. So Nomad was requested by this person, 3, 2, 1. Thank you for this person commenting, uh, here's your video mate. <laughs> and the video that we're going to be doing next was requested by this person, 3, 2, 1. Oh that's horrible, 3, 2, 1. Not even better. Uh, so if you guys would like to be like them, please feel free to comment down below and I will get around to your video. There's a lot of comments, but we will definitely do your videos. Do not worry about that. Um, I, but just before we head into the video, I want to say thank you so much for the amazing sub growth recently. It's insane. I cannot believe it. Honestly, it is insane. Let's just go hop right into the video, boys. Uh, let's go. For tip numero uno, it's I would suggest splitting air jabs into two slash three phases during an attack round. So for the first tip, I'm going to talk about the first phase. First air jab is excellent to be used to counter flanking. For example, the border southwest stairs. Using it for such using such utility in this way allows the entire team to focus on gaining control over the top floor without the need of dedicated manpower for watching the flank. Of course, you could use a claymore at the top of stairs, but it's extremely common claymore placement and possible to avoid even even if activated without capitalizing on the kill so you can there is a way to shoot it out and people are looking there expecting a claymore to obviously be there because it's a very common claymore placement so if you don't place a claymore there we place an air jab as long as there's some guy roughly near it that's kind of helpful because you mean you can clean up the kill and you don't have to waste a claymore and the claymore can be used to help maybe do a diffuser where people may not be looking as much or may not be expecting it as much so use an air jab to protect a flank and protect things like that so that it's more easy for you and your team just to focus your sight on purely getting onto the objective and not worrying about if you're going to get massively flanked from behind by some i don't know ella wannabe For tip number two, this is where the second air jab should be placed. The second air jab could be placed between rotation between bomb sites or the objective entrance. In case your team gain control or tends to over one of the sites, placing air jabs in such locations will make it significantly harder for defenders to retake the site during the push or once the diffuser is planted. Third, the third and the last air jab can be used to secure the remaining entrance points to the objective or on the diffuser to prevent disarming it or delay the attackers. In some cases, flanks can require two air jabs to cover your back. Please bear in mind that the above split is not the only way to utilize air jabs and it application depends on the situation map and your preferences if your teams tend to struggle with a particular aspect of attacking in Rome succeeds like flanks objective pushes or retakes from defenders then focusing using air jabs on those aspects will probably be very beneficial so basically use it in a way that it's going to benefit your team you don't have to put it there but that's my recommendation at least have one on your flank so it's a little bit easier for you guys and trust me it'll it will always turn out a little bit better if you've got something on your flank so that you can focus all of your efforts on attacking the push. I know Darwin and Copper, people don't really care about the flanks too much. I've been there, Loki may still be. Um, and yeah, so basically watch your flanks, but if you have a Nomad air jab, put that there, you're golden. For the third tip, it's Another way to use repulsion grenades is to shoot at the location of a fortified anchor and pushing the defender immediately. Such as usage will force an anchor to decide whether to shoot the air jab and remain vulnerable whilst doing so, or not focus on the air jab and get knocked down whilst being pushed. Timing with the push is air jab can be difficult and this, use, this trick can be situational. I'll probably suggest using stun grenades for such cases instead, but air jabs can serve as a distraction as well. Alternatively, for situations when anchoring defenders has only one way out of cover, you can place an air jab at the anchor's escape route. Such usage will force a defender to remain in their location if done correctly. The air jab will also immobilize defender and net you a very easy very simple kill so basically if there is some 
like defender like a dog who's standing behind the couch and you can't get him out fire an air jab behind the couch and it will knock him down you can run behind melee him shoot him whatever you got to do you got to do what you got to do and it'll be a lot easier than trying to fight that dog head on if you're not a three speed and a, a, not a three armor which you're not Finally, we are going to go over the pros and cons of Nomad. So the pros are, she's got high ammo with a primary AK-47. She's in a fleck, effective flank counter, and she has a mini DMR secondary, obviously that little sniper pistol. Air jab, the cons for her is air jabs gives a sound cue, but that sound cue is not as loud. Obviously you do get ping, and air jabs can also, if you're very close to the air, can throw you back as well. And you still have to have someone watching the flank to get the kill whereas a claymore would do it for you and you don't have to look but claymores can get easily shot out so double-edged sword you just got to think about which one you prefer thank you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy please drop a like down below and comment who you want to see next i will try as i said my best to do every single one of you we're obviously going to slowly start to get the operators that i don't have but i will grind for them do not worry um and yeah there's probably be a link to my discord server down below and my social medias if you and the guys want to have a chat with me and things like that so i just want to say thank you for the amazing amount of support recently it it's it's insane the amount of support we've got i cannot understand it we're so close to 100 i i can't believe it thank you guys i hope to see every single one of you in the next one stay safe with this current thing stay inside and i'll see you in the next one bye bye, -bye.